teachers of Jesus Christ. But when you were saying, you said something interesting. You said the the you know those the certain things like the pagan belief and everything like that, right? And and stuff. There, there, would you consider would you consider the cross a pagan belief? Yes, this origin go way back to Egypt. Okay, you, you all right? You would say that it's a it's it's a it's a it's a pagan belief, right? Yes, it is. Okay, what is Proverbs for that that scripture about the true light, the or the uh, light gets brighter and brighter? What what does that passage mean? Yeah, that, that their understanding of Bible truth that it would uh, it would get brighter and brighter. It would become clearer and clearer. Will it ever get darker? Uh, no. And it, it it can never get darker, right? It can get darker. All right. So let me show you how that that your belief can, is going to be contradicted right now. The early the Jews the Jehovah's Witnesses of the first century they believe that they they believe that Jesus Christ died on the stake right yes. right so they seen it right and then there was 500 eyewitnesses that saw the resurrection of Jesus Christ right so the the first generation of Jehovah's Witnesses they believe that Jesus Christ died on a, a stake right that revelation cannot be taken away that's light right there so the second the second generation did they still believe the same thing yes. what about the third century. They always believed it was a stake, right? Now, that's what the Bible teaches. Right, exactly. Well, what you're saying? So, uh, in in the uh, Acts, Acts 5:30. Okay. Now, um, now, now, here's the thing. Did not the early Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus Christ died on the on the cross, and they outlawed it later on? Uh, we've uh, we've had it. We used to celebrate Christmas. No, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the cross. The cross. They they, they the early Jehovah's. Witnesses, in fact, the the early Watchtower publications. Did it not have the, the cross on it? Uh, it was way in our way in, in the beginning because uh, just like I mentioned, we used to celebrate. Uh, I'm but I'm, I want to I want to focus on the cross because I want to. New light cannot contradict old light. Correct. Uh, well, well that, I mean that's uh, what you said. No, unless what you're. I'm, what I'm saying yeah. is is that. You gotta keep it in context. Okay, did the yeah. early Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross? Just as we uh, we used to we used to have symbols of crosses on our, on our literature. We used to have symbols of crosses. But the light came and helped us to appreciate the Lord in the study of the scripture. Uh, we came to appreciate the Lord what it was about. Same way about Christmas. We used to celebrate Christmas. The different holidays. There's nothing wrong with uh, celebrating Christmas, but I, I want to zero in on this cross situation. The, did not the Jehovah's Witnesses come out with a Watchtower publication that says the cross is now pagan, right? I, I read it. We, we I, had, I read it. Used, um, like I'm telling you, yeah. we had it on our Watchtower. There right. were a pit, we had a picture of a cross in the Watchtower. Exactly. But because at that time, it hadn't become clear to us what it, what it represented. Now that's my point, right? Because there was no New World Translation, right? The, you had the, you were you are, you were operating off of the King James Bible, right? And the reason why they they had the crosses is because they recognized that that was the symbol of execution that Jesus Christ died on. Now we go back to the first century, right? And this is this is I, I'm demonstrating. This is one of many. This is one of many examples of how Jehovah's Witnesses they really don't know the history and they really don't follow biblical teaching and their teachings are contradictory because. The eyewitnesses, they saw a stake. That's what they saw. The, the disciples saw that he died on a stake. All right. After that, he resurrected. And so that resurrection was witnessed by 500 people on top of the 12 disciples in the, in the, in the upper room and, and various other people, the people on the road to uh, Emmaus, right, when he was uh, expounding the scriptures. And every, everyone in that generation believed that he died on a stake. Now you go to the second century, that light cannot be contradicted. And so they believe that he died on a stake. The third century comes around, he died on a stake. The fourth century, fifth century. Why is it that in the 19th century, all of a sudden we believe that he died on a cross? What happened? As the light gets brighter and brighter. But it got darker. It gets brighter and brighter. But it, but it got darker yeah, with because, pagan worship. Because uh, the cross, you can, you can look in encyclopedias, it'll tell you the origin of the cross. But that's but that's that's outside of the organization, right? But that's just making it cleaner. Even secular historians recognize that its origin, the origin of the cross, is a pagan origin. 
that's another thing too that's another thing that's not true because with christianity well, you, know, you know you can, you can christian no i'm saying like but, christians here's, here's, here's the thing you believe what you want to believe no what if i'm saying you is believe this. that the cross is good I well, it's I, not. That's, that's good for you. you see, for something to be pagan, let me let me break it down. For something to be pagan, it has to be 